Here's how you can inflate this custom typography here in Blender. All right, so I'm gonna start here in Illustrator because I made this custom typography made out of vectors and I'm gonna to go to the file, save as, rename it and make sure to save it as SVJ. I'm also gonna check use artboard, arrange one, click on save. I'm gonna go with the default settings, click OK. And now let's go to Blender, go to file and click on import, select scalable vector graphics. Let's go and select the SVJ file and click on import SVJ. And as you can see here, we got the text. I'm also gonna reset the XYZ axis because it's in the corner. So I'm gonna go to the object, set origin and select origin to geometry. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need to do is select all the letters, a right click and go to convert to mesh. And I'm also gonna go to recolor this and I'm gonna select a lighter color, press the tab button. So we're gonna go to edit mode, press the letter A to select everything and press the letter E and this way, if I'm gonna pull the mouse upwards, you can see we're gonna extrude the text, but I want a small little extrusion, something like this. Press the tab again. Now I tried to inflate every letter at once, but unfortunately it created a mess. So I'm gonna do this separately. For example, I'm gonna start with the letter P and let's go to modifier, add modifier, type in remesh, enter. And for these curvy shapes, I went with a smooth. I also gonna check smooth shading and increase the up tree depth, I'm gonna go with seven. Let's go here, click on apply. And now let's go to edit mode, press the tab, or you can go here and select edit mode and make sure to set on edge select. Let's go to select and I'm gonna select sharp edges. Now the latest Blender 4.3, the sharp edges are going to be located right here. But previously I saw that this option usually is located somewhere here in the center with a different name, which is select sharp edges. So anyways, from here, let's go to the data, click on the plus. We're gonna add a vertex group, double click to rename, type in edge and click on assign. Let's go to physics. Let's add the cloth. Let's scroll down and here activate the pressure. And I'm gonna go and increase the pressure to 100. Let's go down to the shape, open up the shape, scroll down. Let's go to pin group and select the edge that we created. And let's go to shrink factor, type in minus 0.5 and press the tab to go back to object mode. And now all you need to do is go to the playback, bring it to the right, for example, to frame 50. And it's gonna look something like this. Right now it looks pretty bad as you can see. Because of that, I'm gonna go to the modifier and add a subdivision modifier, enter, and it's going to smooth out. So pretty much this is how I make it. Repeat the steps with the rest of the letters and there it is. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more tutorials.